Hey there, Salt Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, yeah. So, um, yeah, I have not done anything for this. I have been super busy on projects. I have two main projects I'm working on, but neither of them are granny squares. I still do want to try the mosaic granny square. So I'm hoping to do something with that this week. I have an idea of something I can do that will cover two things. Um, both things we're making Thursday and uh, the bird of the month from Judy's Creation and Crochet. I'm going to put the bird of the month up here so you guys can see it. You guys can decide, do you want to go join her thing? She gives you the bird of the month on the first of the month. You have until a specific date. Oh shoot, I don't remember the date. It's usually around the 28th, but sometimes it's different um, to get a project done inspired by the colors of the bird. You can choose one color, you can choose all colors. It's kind of open but go watch her first of the month videos so that you can see she does a little slideshow of everybody and then um picks a winner and sends them some yarn so it's pretty fun um i'm not always good at participating in it because i have a lot going on but i actually enjoy it it's really fun to take a picture and like do i have those yarns could i get those yarns what can i do with those yarns it's really fun so i have that going oh i really need to get working on my mystery yarn project as well uh, i started it and um i have a couple other things so i got a lot going on but I'm hoping to combine the bird of the month and the granny square thing together and do both of those. So we'll see. I need to put that as like a priority over the next few days, I think. Anyway, I told you guys I wanted to share with you something that I've made from granny squares. I haven't done a lot. Oh, I was hoping. I don't think they are. Um, I used to have a butterfly close by and they're pretty much done in kind of a granny square thing. You might end up with a couple extra um, instead of going in a square. It might end up with more so that it folds into the butterfly shape. I can't remember. It's been a while since I made one. But um, I think that would count as granny squares if you wanted to make those butterflies that are kind of based off of the granny square. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to share the picture of my daughter's bag up here. That was uh, something I did from a mystery yarn challenge. And it's one of the few things that have been granny square that I actually like. So that's exciting and it's fun. Um, I think one day my daughter would love for me to make her some more granny square stuff. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just not my favorite. Anyway, down below you will find a link to the Facebook group for Things We're Making Thursday. You'll find my link tree, which opens up um, a whole bunch of links where you can go follow the different things for me. Um, my email's down below if you want to send me pictures of anything. Like if you want to, if you made something for Granny Squares and you want to share it in Things We're Making Thursday, send them to me. I will be happy to add them. And the link for the bag, I will put that down below as well. If I can find, I don't, I don't think I'll have time to find a link to Butterfly Tutorial. Um, I've got a lot going on. I actually have something happening in like 25 minutes and I'm really excited about it. If it turns out well, we're gonna have a chat about it and if it turns out well, it's gonna be something that's gonna be ongoing and I'll start inviting more people to it. So um, I hope it works out. But anyway, for now, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.